Hi everyone, welcome back to the Investing Iguana, where we talk about all things money related. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to talk about a topic that many of you have requested, the average cost of a wedding in Singapore. Now, I know that weddings are supposed to be one of the happiest days of your life, but they can also be one of the most expensive. In fact, based on data from the internet, an average wedding in Singapore could cost somewhere around 30,000 Singapore dollars to 50,000 Singapore dollars, though extravagant weddings can cost significantly more, i.e. more than 100,000 Singapore dollars. That's a lot of money to spend on one day, don't you think? So what are the main components that make up this hefty price tag? Well, let's break it down and see how we can save some money along the way. The first and most obvious cost is the wedding banquet. This is where you invite your family and friends to celebrate your union with a feast of delicious food and drinks. The average cost per table of 10 guests is around 1,800 Singapore dollars for weekday lunches to 2,000 Singapore dollars for weekend dinners, though prices vary greatly depending on venues of your preferred date. Assuming most couples opt for about 30 tables of 10 guests each, the average cost for your banquet is estimated to be around 54,000 to 60,000 Singapore dollars. That's more than half of your total wedding budget right there. Now, how can you save money on this? Well, one way is to choose a less popular venue or date. For example, you can opt for a restaurant or a hotel that is not in the city center or near tourist attractions. You can also avoid peak seasons like Chinese New Year or Valentine's Day. Another way is to reduce the number of tables or guests. Do you really need to invite your distant relatives or your colleagues that you barely talk to? Maybe you can have a smaller and more intimate wedding with only your closest family and friends. Or maybe you can skip the banquet altogether and have a simple reception instead. The next big cost is the bridal package. This is where you get your wedding gown and suit, makeup and hairstyling, photography and videography, flowers and decorations, and sometimes even transportation and honeymoon packages. The average cost of a bridal package is around 4,500 Singapore dollars, though it can go as high as 6,000 Singapore dollars or more depending on what you want. How can you save money on this? Well, one way is to shop around and compare prices from different bridal studios or vendors. You can also negotiate for discounts or freebies if you book early or pay in full. Another way is to DIY some of the items or services. For example, you can buy or rent your wedding gown and suit online from shops like SHEIN, ASOS, or Zalora for as low as 56 Singapore dollars. You can also do your own makeup and hairstyling or ask a friend who is good at it to help you out. You can also use your own camera or phone to take photos and videos or hire a freelance photographer or videographer who charges less than a studio. You can also buy flowers from a local market or use artificial ones instead of fresh ones. The next cost is the wedding rings. These are the symbols of your love and commitment that you will wear for the rest of your life. The average cost of wedding rings is around 4,000 Singapore dollars, though it can go as low as 2,000 Singapore dollars or as high as 6,000 Singapore dollars depending on the material and design. How can you save money on this? Well, one way is to choose a simpler or cheaper ring that still suits your taste and personality. You don't need to buy a diamond ring if you don't like diamonds or if you think they are overpriced. You can opt for other gemstones like sapphire or ruby or even no gemstone at all. You can also choose a cheaper metal like silver or titanium instead of gold or platinum. Another way is to use a family heirloom or an existing ring that has sentimental value for you or your partner. You can also engrave your names or initials on the ring to make it more personal and unique. The next cost is the dowry. This is the traditional gift that the groom gives to the bride's family as a sign of respect and gratitude. The average cost of dowry is around 2,750 Singapore dollars, though it can go as low as 500 Singapore dollars or as high as 5,000 Singapore dollars depending on the culture and expectations of the bride's family. How can you save money on this? Well, one way is to talk to your partner and their family and agree on a reasonable amount that is within your budget. You can also explain to them that you would rather spend the money on your future together than on a symbolic gesture. Another way is to give non-monetary gifts instead of cash. 
For example, you can give jewelry, clothes, food, or household items that are meaningful or useful for the bride's family. The next cost is the solemnization. This is where you officially register your marriage and exchange your vows in front of a licensed solemnizer and witnesses. The average cost of solemnization is around 3,000 Singapore dollars, though it can go as low as 1,000 Singapore dollars or as high as 5,000 Singapore dollars depending on the venue and the number of guests. How can you save money on this? Well, one way is to choose a free or cheap venue like a park, a beach, or a community center. You can also choose a weekday or an off-peak time slot to avoid higher fees. Another way is to keep the guest list small and invite only your immediate family and closest friends. You can also skip the fancy decorations and catering and opt for a simple and casual affair. The next cost is the honeymoon. This is where you celebrate your marriage and enjoy some quality time together as a newlywed couple. The average cost of honeymoon is around 6,500 Singapore dollars, though it can go as low as 5,000 Singapore dollars or as high as 8,000 Singapore dollars depending on the destination and the duration. How can you save money on this? Well, one way is to choose a cheaper or nearer destination that still offers what you are looking for in a honeymoon. You can also travel during off-peak seasons or book your flights and hotels in advance to get better deals. Another way is to use your credit card rewards or miles to redeem free or discounted flights or hotels. You can also use online platforms like Airbnb or Booking.com to find cheaper accommodation options. You can also plan your own itinerary and activities instead of joining expensive tours or packages. The last cost is the miscellaneous costs. These are the other expenses that may not be obvious but can add up quickly. These include things like wedding invitations, entertainment, gifts for guests and bridal party, etc. The average cost of miscellaneous costs is around 1,500 Singapore dollars, though it can go as low as 1,000 Singapore dollars or as high as 2,000 Singapore dollars depending on how much you want to splurge. How can you save money on this? Well, one way is to go digital and send your wedding invitations via email or social media instead of printing and mailing them. You can also use online platforms like Canva or Adobe Spark to design your own invitations for free or at a low cost. You can also choose cheaper or DIY entertainment options like Spotify playlists or karaoke machines instead of hiring live bands or DJs. You can also give practical or homemade gifts for your guests and bridal party instead of buying expensive or generic ones. So there you have it, the average cost of a wedding in Singapore and how you can save money on each component. Of course, these are just estimates and suggestions based on my research and experience. Your actual wedding cost may vary depending on your personal preferences and circumstances. But remember, at the end of the day, what matters most is not how much you spend on your wedding, but how much you love each other and how happy you are together. A wedding is just one day, a marriage is a lifetime. That's a wrap for today's episode of The Investing Iguana, where we strive to help Singapore-based finance, investment, and wealth enthusiasts stay informed and ahead of the curve. We hope you found today's content insightful and valuable in your journey to financial success. If so, Please show your support by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more expert advice, market analysis, and financial tips tailored to Singapore's unique landscape. To ensure you never miss out on our latest content, hit the bell icon and enable notifications for all future uploads. We're eager to engage with our audience, so please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or feedback in the comment section below. Our team will do its best to respond promptly and address your concerns. Additionally, we're always on the lookout for fresh ideas and relevant topics to cover in our upcoming videos. If there's a specific subject related to Singapore's finance, investment, or wealth management sectors that you'd like us to explore, please share your suggestions with us. Thank you for tuning in to The Investing Iguana. We're dedicated to empowering you with the knowledge and tools necessary to thrive in Singapore's dynamic financial environment. Until next time, happy investing!